Blue Angels will take flight at the annual Beth Page Air Show at Jones Beach this weekend. It will be their first performance in four years, and it's great if you've ever seen it. Our own Top Gun, though, CBS 2's John Diaz, took off with the Blue Angels today to give you a closer look at what it looks like from above. We have, in the United States, about 332 million people. And you two happen to be the only civilians flying in the back seat. And somehow I got picked for this, along with more deserving Dr. Kishore Kansham, who was the superintendent of the Freeport School District, to fly sky high with the Blue Angels. Yeah, those guys who showcase the teamwork and professionalism of the United States Navy and Marine Corps through flight demonstrations. We'll fly pretty close to airliner speeds, but what we do a little differently is we'll fly low and obviously in formation. That's our pilot who's been flying with the Navy for a decade, and behind him, our plane. The F 18 F Super Hornet. But before they even let us climb inside the aircraft, we had to go through safety training, learning how to position our bodies when we hit G force and proper breathing techniques. Hello, look. Dr. Kincham went first. It was a 45 minute ride that he thought was totally thrilling, exciting. Soon after, I was up. Can I step right here? I got strapped in, and eventually, we were ready to rock and roll. I almost got it right. Within seconds, we were already in the clouds. Soon after, we cleared them, and that's when the real fun began. We did lots of rolls. Oh my God! But as we're doing this, we're upside down right now. Yeah. And a couple of thrilling loops. There's pure vertical. We're at 10,000 feet. Oh God! And we're coming over the top. Oh, that's cool. We're up at 12,000 feet now. And during some parts, it was even difficult to move. Oh, it's like hard to lift your hands. Flying upside down at other times and reaching zero G's like an astronaut. 45, we're pushing for zero G's. Here we go. <laughs> and now we're just floating. So weird. But the most electrifying part, hitting a crazy high G-force. Ready, hit it. There's seven. It was the most hair-raising experience of my life, but being back on the ground never felt so good, especially now that I have bragging rights. Hold 7.3 Gs. 7.3, you hear that? Yeah. From high above Long Island, John Diaz, CBS 2 News. Now, Lonnie, I don't know about you, but I think John is ready to take over the role of Maverick in Top Gun 3. I think so. I think, I don't know. I mean, Tom Cruise may be yeah. stepping aside. I don't know if Tom know. ever wore that blue cap that John was wearing. I don't know if I'd recommend the hat. In the, the hat. That's some bad hat, Harry, <laughs> hey, but otherwise, man. very cool. Johnny, boy, great job. Yes, man. great that job, was, John. Uh,